Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. You would have seen my last video, which was just a short little uh, four or five minute video on what I was about to build. Um, so we're going to get back into it, and I kind of did something. Um, yeah, I painted everything. I couldn't resist, so I got out the uh, spray can and um, painted this, painted everything up black. So got a little carried away, and I painted the stem, and I painted the seat post, and I painted the frames and the fork, and the seat post started it all because it looked pretty rough and I just wanted to tidy it up with a bit of paint. So I painted that, came up pretty good and I thought, well, let's do the stem because that looks pretty crusty. So I painted the stem and then I painted the frame and then I painted the fork and now everything's black. So yeah, but hey, anyway, I'll uh, show you what it looks like and if anything, it's going to look either really granddad-ish or it's just going to look like some kind of ghetto black bike. So there's not much colour in it at all really, but I managed to update a few parts just to maybe make it look a bit better so um have a look so uh here we go here's the frame sorry it's pretty dark in here it's night time now here in New Zealand um so as you can see yeah it came up okay you know pretty happy with the paint job once again rattle can with a bit of clear coat sort of protect it um looks pretty smooth everywhere it's got the top tube still shows signs of yuckiness but um I might stick some decals on it yet, so you never know. Fork's black as well. So, yeah. Uh, anyway, and then over here we have um, the stem. So, obviously that came up a lot better. Um, the SR stem in black. Which will look fine with the bars, so that, that's where I want it to be. And uh, this is the one that started the problem. <laughs> Painting the stem. The seat post black is... Uh, what got me painting everything so that that'll come up all right yeah i think that'll be okay i managed to uh i needed a different brake because the one of them wasn't going to fit the frame uh and i found a brown saddle with a bit of cush on it so i think a brown saddle on the top of that like i say will make it or break it but for now i think that will be okay so uh yeah that's my decision to make and uh let's get into it i think i'll start building it and uh i'll catch up with you guys shortly well as you can see i've come a little bit further um got it in the stand got the seat post in wrapped up under there now i've got the stems stacked up pretty damn high at the moment because once i set it i want to set it at the height i want without uh without scratching the living shit out of the stem you know it's even though it's painted and it, it'll be okay it'll still put scratches in it once i push it down so i'll finalize that later at the moment i've just got it sitting up at the maximum height and then i'll uh, drop it once i put it on the ground and get some height on it get the correct height um there's the handlebars with the ergo grips like i say this is a bike designed for comfort got the brake levers on um here's that massive head tube look at the size of that bloody head tube anyway i'm about to put the bottom bracket in get the cranks on and then i'll put the wheels in and or the brakes next actually and then uh, we'll put that saddle on and uh, she should be good she'll look quite smart so just remember this is a build a, a budget build of parts out of the shed i'm not trying to spend a cent on this bike and i haven't spent a cent on it yet it's just been stuff i've had lying around and i'm trying to make it a uh, nice comfortable ride so Yep, we'll uh, move on. Well, it's definitely for a tall boy. Let's put it that way. I'm uh, glad I'm 6'2", but I'm definitely not as tall as that setup is going to be. So I'll be bringing the seat post down, bringing the stem down. But this is what it looks like at the moment. It needs the brakes wired up, uh, cabled up. I need the uh, run the cog on the back at the moment for the hub and put the chain on cranks have gone on these are the pedals uh, i chose before they'll be fine the gearing should be a good nice pedally ratio where i can just comfortably pedal and not exert myself <laughs> so uh there we go everything's on there got the brakes on need some pads in the back but i haven't got that far yet so there we go getting closer as time goes on um it's gonna look all right with that brown saddle it's definitely gonna break up the whole black murdered out look but um should come up okay and i think these bars are going to be super comfortable especially when you line up uh ergo grip on the palm with the with the lever it's a nice comfortable two grip two finger lever just there they'll be quite comfy be perfect for what i'm uh wanting and i might even try and dig out a rack 
put a carrier on the front or maybe the back or something. We'll come up with a plan. So stay tuned. I'm still uh, still going with it. I'll check in with you shortly. Uh, I got the front brake on now, which is cool. So tidy that up, but that's working absolutely mint. Looking pretty good. Put the saddle on. That's looking good too. So pretty happy with that. So that breaks up the black a little bit. Yes, it looks like a commuter bike, but that's that's the purpose of it all, isn't it? So I'm about to do the chain, put on the spaces on the back of the hub and uh, get a good chain line going. And then the bike will be almost ready. I just realized because it's got the, um, where is it? Uh, I can't see it in this light. Under here, it's got undermount or internal routing in the cabling. So uh, <laughs> someone's either done that or, or uh, yeah, I'm not sure what's going on there. But anyway. It's, it's got internal routing in here, so I'll, I'll utilize that, but to, for that to work for the back brake, I need to put a uh, full-length cable, full-length black cable I didn't actually have enough on me, so I'll have to get some of that, and uh, it'll be fine to run without a back brake for the moment. I'll line that up in a, later on during the week, but I'm um, looking forward to it. I'm, I'm looking forward to riding this. It looks pretty cool, so yeah, we'll carry on. Well, let me know what you think. There it is. Um... I guess it's a rather large gents roadster. <laughs> it looks like I built something from the 1950s, but uh, oh well, it, it'll do. Reflective tyres, they'll, they'll look good, um, rolling along. Here's the handlebars. I put a wee bell on just for, you know, commuting, letting people know I'm coming. I might roll this one down to the cafe in the weekend and uh, use it for its intended purpose, which is just a cruiser and a little commuter. So. Yeah, maybe I should find some brown grips and match it up with the with the seat. But at the moment, it's pretty much ready to go. Just got to get that brake cable in. Other than that, she's good to go. Um, I'll take it for a spin shortly in the dark out there and uh, see how it rolls. It's very upright, very comfortable. And uh, it was either that or the frame was just going to go to the rubbish dump, I suppose. It had no other purpose. It's a big old frame, so it's not very popular unless you're really tall. But uh, I think I pulled that one off and um, I quite like it. So yeah, let me know in the comments what you think. I may add a rack to it and some different colored grips like I say. I may put some decals on it too. I've got an idea of um, running this thing here. So this is just <laughs> some modern mountain bike uh, frame protection grip. So this is like a full black with glossy, this pattern but only in black. So I thought I could just put cut up a section. And just just for the hell of breaking up the frame and the, the blackness just put something on I don't know might look all right once I go there I, I can't go back so I'll have to make a decision and either go for it or not we'll see um, but there you go let me know what you think and thanks for tuning in once again um, another bike back on the road I guess so uh, tune in for the next one sometime in the future thanks a lot bye